Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm carrying on with my demos and showing you four skincare mistakes I think you're probably making. I hear this from people in the clinic all the time. Dr. Sam, I'm investing in all these ingredients you've been telling me about, but I'm still not getting the results that I want to see. So here we go, let's start. Mistake number one, you're not applying your product consistently enough. Now, what do I mean by consistency? So if you go to the doctor and they prescribe a treatment for your throat, you get an antibiotic, do you take one tablet one day, two tablets the next, and maybe skip it the third day? I don't think so. And yet lots of people seem to think that they can dip in and dip out to different products on every, any given day of the week. The key with skincare is consistency. So it means structure a plan, stick to it, build up to using the correct amount over time. Now the easiest way to do that is to visualize the amount that you need to use of a particular product. And this is probably most appropriate to your serums, your pricey investment products, and your sunscreen. Everything else is kind of use as much as you need. So I'm gonna use Epion's Lytic Lotion to demonstrate the kind of quantities I think you should be using. Now, at the beginning with an active product, and most active products run the risk of some degree of irritation, I usually suggest starting with this kind of amount, which is what I call half a fingertip length. Over time, as you get more experienced and your skin accommodates, I build up to a fingertip length. Now what that means is literally a line of product as long as your fingertip. Now, the other thing to say is to use it consistently. So to start off doing everything every other day and to build up to doing it daily. That way your skin acclimatizes to using the ingredient and you're much less likely to suffer sensitivity or irritation to active ingredients like for instance retinol or salicylic acid as in the lytic treatment. So that's how you're consistent with the amount. So you agree an amount you're gonna start off with and then you build up to using a larger amount over time. And then you need to use it in a consistent fashion. So in someone with very sensitive skin, that might be every third day for two weeks, then every second day for two weeks, and then every day. So it takes a full skin cycle to get established on using it every day. So with thicker and more oilier skin might go in it every other day and be on to using it daily by four weeks in. Number two, use it in a specific way according to the purpose of that product. I see so many people who end up spot treating or applying a little bit of retinoid here and here because that's where I have my blemishes, Dr. Sam, as opposed to treating the full face or the full field which is usually the way to get the best results. So with this product, which contains salicylic acid and azelaic acid, so it's good for brightness, for texture, for poor clarity, I plan to use this all over because that's helpful. I will avoid the delicate eye area and I won't go too close to the lips or let it build up in the creases of my nose where it can irritate. And I found that the best way to be systematic about applying it in a consistent way is to use my 13 dot technique where I literally will apply one, two, three dots, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And that way you make sure that you apply product evenly over the target areas to get the best result, the whole field is treated. Step number three, we're on to absorption now. Now, you might well read in magazines that the skin should be patted gently like this. Um, I believe you should use a firm massage to get product to absorb well. We don't want it sitting on the surface where it can potentially irritate our epidermis. We want penetration into the lower parts of the epidermis and indeed the dermis, particularly if we're worried about anti-aging. So that means a firm massage, don't let it dry and form a film on the surface, a firm massage and make sure it's fully absorbed before going on to the next step. Just take a few minutes and be sure to wipe clear any collected product in those delicate sensitive areas. Now you'll note that I'm not taking this particular product down my neck. If I was doing my neck, I would use a bit more product. 
but this is something specifically to target texture, tone and pore clarity, so I'm not taking it onto my neck. Okay, so I'm going to give that a few minutes to absorb fully before going on to my next step. And then the final mistake that I see people making is not giving products enough time, so not being consistent enough with usage to really determine whether or not they're doing anything positive for your skin. Now, the way to think about consistency is to think about your skin in blocks of six weeks. When I see products with claims on pack suggesting that they can improve things in a matter of hours, I always think, wow, that's amazing. I'm using prescription grade products in the clinic and I'm counseling patients to look for improvements over blocks of six to 12 weeks. So a full skin cycle, because that is the length of time for a product to influence what's going on in the layer of skin that's coming through. It's just common sense. You can certainly impact on hydration immediately. That's a different matter. But hydration is a very temporary thing. We're talking about improving blemishes, blackheads, pigmentation, fine lines, those sorts of issues. That is the stuff of weeks to months. So get yourself a consistent routine where you're using a product in a consistent amount, in a consistent distribution over your skin for a consistent period of time. As you can probably tell, consistency is quite important here. And you will see a definite improvement if you've chosen your skincare ingredients wisely. So those are my top tips for getting the most out of your skincare. I hope you found that helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe and leave your comments for some ideas in the comment section down below. Bye for now.